Greetings, future nurses, and welcome to today's practice question of the day. My name is Alex, and I'm the founder of NurseUp.com, the best place to study for the HESI A2. If you have a HESI A2 coming up and you like to study by taking lots and lots of practice questions, then I recommend following the link in the description below to sign up to become a premium member at NurseUp.com. There, you will have access to over 7,500 realistic, accurate practice questions with detailed step-by-step -step answer explanations so you'll never feel left behind. Even if you've been out of school for a while and your test is coming up in a couple of weeks, you can head to NurseHub.com and prepare for this SEA2 exam. So, also, before we get started with the question of the day, a gentle reminder to please like and subscribe. When you like, that tells other people that this video was helpful and it helps them find it so you can help them too. And when you subscribe, you'll be notified when we have more questions of the day that come out so you can continue studying with us. Now, today's question of the day is on the scientific method. It's from the biology question section of the HESI-A2. And the question is, which of the following is the final step in the scientific method? Is it A, hypothesis, B, evaluation, C, observation, or D, conclusion? I'm going to give you a sec to think about it, and if you don't know the answer right away, that's totally fine. We're going to walk through the scientific method together, and by the end of this video, you'll absolutely know what the answer of this question is, and we'll be able to answer it on the real test very, very easily. So write down what you think the answer is, and before we reveal what the correct answer is, let's do a very quick review of the scientific method. What is the scientific method? The scientific method is a logical step-by-step -step approach to solving a problem. But you also use the scientific method likely every single day. In fact, I used the scientific method last night when trying to figure out why my phone wouldn't charge, which is probably something that's happened to you. So there are five steps to the scientific method. Step number one is making an observation. So this is the simple act of noticing and describing a certain phenomenon or event. Now, when my phone wasn't charging last night, the simple act of me going, hmm, that's weird, I plugged it in, it should be charging, but it's not, I wonder why, is the observation. That's the very first step in the scientific method or scientific process. The second step is making a hypothesis. A hypothesis is a scientific statement that can be tested and proved scientifically through experimentation. Right, and the key here is that it can be tested. So it's an educated guess, which can go through an experimental process, can be tested in order to determine whether or not your educated guess or your hypothesis is correct or incorrect. When my phone wasn't charging, I formed the hypothesis that maybe the charger was broken. I was hoping it wasn't my phone, the charger is less expensive. So I'm hoping and making the educated guess that I believe the charger is broken and that is why, even though I have it plugged in, it's not charging my phone right now. The third step is the experiment, conducting an actual experiment. This is when you form a test where you can test your hypothesis to either prove your hypothesis is correct or is incorrect, right? So for me, my simple experiment in my day-to-day -day problem with my phone charger was to simply go grab another phone charger, a new one, one that may not be broken, and replace my old broken assumed to be broken, uh, charger with it. And if the new charger works, then I know that my hypothesis that my old charger was broken is indeed correct. The fourth step is evaluation. So this is when you collect and analyze all of the data from your experiment in order to do the fifth step, which is to draw a conclusion, right? So you're going to explain the findings of the experiments and conclude whether or not the results support or refute the hypothesis. So for me, I made the observation, weird, my phone is not charging, uh, even though I have it plugged in. My hypothesis was, I think that the old phone charger is likely broken. My experiment was, I'm going to replace this old charger with a new charger and see if now my phone will charge. The evaluation was me, again, seeing that it did indeed work. This new phone charger did work. And so my conclusion was drawn that the old phone charger was indeed broken and this new phone charger works. 
end of experiment. So again, which of the following is that final step, that fifth step in the scientific method? If you said conclusion, then you would be correct. Now let's walk through why each of these other answer choices would be incorrect. So hypothesis is not the final step in the scientific me method. Remember the hypothesis is the educated guess as to why something is happening. Um, and so that is not the last step of the scientific process. In fact, it is usually the second step. It is not the evaluation. That is the second to last step in the scientific process or scientific method. And that helps us make a conclusion on the hypothesis we proposed. The observation is the first step. Remember, that's the part where you see what's happening and you ask that question, why did that happen? And of course, the correct answer again is D, conclusion. Drawing a conclusion based on the results of your experiment is the final step of the scientific method and is therefore the correct answer to our question of the day. Again, thank you so much for coming to this question of the day. If you found this video to be helpful, please remember to give it a like. That'll help other folks find it. Also subscribe to, for more uh, questions of the day. And check out nursehub.com for over 7,500 realistic practice questions just like this one with super detailed answer explanations so you can go into test day with confidence. Thanks again.